here I'm just going to show you, quickly show you some parallel circuits and talk about the current and potential difference in them. So here I have um, a circuit that's in parallel. I have two bulbs here. I'm just going to trace both wires through at the same time. And you can see that both wires go into the top of wires here. If I just pull these wires out for you, you can see that these are my two free cables. And then these are the ones that I'm going to attach to the bulb so we can see it light up. So there we go, both bulbs are lit. Um, they are attached to the battery in parallel. The way we draw this is the symbol for a bulb. And then we have another little bulb here. And then that comes down to our battery. It's a bit long for a battery down here like this. So you can see this is a lot neater than um, what actually happens, but it shows we have one bulb which is connected to another bulb and then this bulb was the one that was connected to the battery. So I've added a couple of ammeters in here. Now ammeters have to be in series. So if we just look at this mini little circuit here, I've got a wire which is attached to my bulb, and this is attached to my ammeter, and then that comes off. So I've got a little series there. And then I have another little series here. I have my ammeter, take it through, it's attached to my bulb, go across the bulb, and that's attached over there, and then these are my ends. So I'm just going to squeeze everything in, and then I'm going to attach up my circuits. So you can see the ammeters here are actually doing different things. And that's fine because the ammeters are measuring the current flowing through the circuit. And for a series that is in parallel, the current is equal to the sum of the ammeters. So to find the total current, you'd have to add the reading of this ammeter to the reading of this ammeter. Okay, if we were going to draw that, um, we had our bulb which is connected in series because ammeters always have to be connected in series. Connected to another bulb which is connected to another ammeter and then this um, was connected to our battery down here. And for a um, parallel circuit the reading of ammeter 1 will need to be added to ammeter 2 to get the total so I've gone back to my basic circuit at the beginning with a bulb connected in parallel to another bulb down here. And I've just attached um, an ammeter, uh, it's a voltmeter, sorry, across the bulb. Because voltmeters measure across something, so they have to be attached across a component. I'm going to um, turn on, connect everything up, and we can see the voltmeter moving there as the bulbs are lighting up. Now, if I switch over the um, components that the voltmeter is connected to, we should see that, let me just turn that around, we should see that exactly the same potential difference is seen across this component as was seen across this component. Because it doesn't matter um, which component we measure across the potential difference in a parallel circuit is always going to be the same. So if I was going to draw that last circuit for you, I had my bulb, um, it had a voltmeter attached across it. This was in parallel with another bulb here, and then my battery down here. And it doesn't matter where I put this voltmeter, whether I put it here or whether I put it in here, the reading is always going to be the same for a parallel circuit. Thanks for watching. I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below please.